Several years ago, on a well-known preprint website, a rather interesting study appeared. Its essence was that life could exist on planets orbiting black holes. The study was based on the second law of thermodynamics, which states that the maintenance of life depends on the temperature difference provided by a source of useful energy. For example, on Earth, life requires such a source, and it is played by the temperature difference between the hot sun and the cold, airless space. Developing this idea, physicists decided to ask whether the temperature difference between a cold black hole and relic radiation could become a source of energy. As is well known, black holes lead to the formation of some of the brightest and hottest objects in the universe due to the presence of an accretion disk consisting of heated matter that rotates around the black hole. This leads to powerful radiation that can be detected by our modern observatories. Nevertheless, the temperature of the black hole itself is zero Kelvin, not counting the non-zero temperature of Hawking radiation. In this case, for an exoplanet, a black hole can act as a cold source of light. According to scientists, the gravitational object should be old enough and not have any debris from stars or other celestial bodies in its vicinity that would threaten the existence of exotic life on the planet. Compared to an old cold black hole, the space surrounding it has a temperature of 2.7 Kelvin, which corresponds to cosmic microwave background radiation. Based on calculations, it is possible for an Earth-like planet revolving around a black hole to extract about 900 of the useful power from the temperature difference between the gravitational object and the relic radiation, which is sufficient to sustain life, but not enough to initiate it. The article on this research was well received in the scientific community, and some prominent scientists agreed with the conclusions. Therefore, let's go further today and contemplate what if the origin of life on such planets is possible, and the maintenance of life is quite feasible. It is undoubtedly dangerous for humans to live on such a planet right next to a black hole, but on the other hand, it would be cool, fun, and even useful. Of course, there will be critics who will say that we first need to get there, and that is impossible, and so on, but that is not the point we are discussing now. Let's instead think about the possibilities a person could have by settling in the vicinity of a supermassive black hole and using them to accelerate spacecraft to near light speeds. There's a lot of interesting and entertaining information in this video. Since the end of the last century, we've known that planets can orbit pulsars, incredibly dense objects that appear as a result of powerful star explosions. Therefore, we can assume that planets can also orbit black holes, which, surprisingly, have less influence on their surroundings than pulsars at the center of our galaxy. The Milky Way has a hidden black hole with a mass equal to that of 4 million stars combined. Stable circular orbit of this object is equivalent to the orbit that Mercury has around our star. We can talk at length about the many dangers that await us on a planet located near a black hole. However, there are advantages. For example, if humans were able to migrate near black holes, there are interesting and useful things they could do. Firstly, one could use the black hole as a source of clean energy. Waste could be dropped into the accretion disk surrounding the black hole which would then convert up to 42% of its own mass into radiation, which could be sent into orbit around the black hole, which spins at maximum speed. An engineering mechanism could then be attached to the axis of the black hole's rotation, creating a giant flywheel from which energy could be extracted. In addition, time passes more slowly near the event horizon of a black hole, which could be a kind of beauty salon where everyone could rejuvenate themselves. You can also enjoy the view of the entire universe, which is intricately reflected in gravitational lensing images around black holes, so that it's not boring. After all, humans are used to entertainment, it's in their blood. You can create a park on the so-called photon sphere where you can have fun with various relativistic effects. For example, look at yourself from behind while looking straight ahead, 
because light bends around the black hole. By the way, there will be plenty of extreme entertainment options. You can test the basic aspects of quantum gravity by sending groups of physicists, experimentalists, and experts in string theory in pursuit of new experiences and tours. Technologies won't stop either. Using gravitational waves and sending them with small objects revolving around a black hole is an excellent means of communication. No known form of matter can block such signals. In addition, a black hole is the most reliable prison. So sending criminals with the death penalty through the singularity will be a very severe punishment. Corruption can also be defeated easily. Write your suggestions in the comments if you like these benefits. However, despite all these advantages, a black hole is still a dangerous place. We have long known that this is the scariest object in the universe. For example, in attempting to master these types of activities, the main threat to astronauts comes from tidal forces. Even Albert Einstein noted in his famous thought experiment that someone inside a falling elevator or spacecraft in free fall would feel the absence of gravity. Any difference in gravitational acceleration between a person's head and feet could easily tear the body apart. Tidal forces would be a death sentence in the vicinity of a black hole with a stellar mass. However, for the human body, there is no threat in the more extended space around a supermassive black hole, such as Sagittarius A asterisk, which is surrounded by a star cluster. The density of the matter required to form a black hole is linearly dependent on its spatio-temporal curvature. Low-mass black holes form as a result of the collapse of the core of a massive star to densities significantly higher than the density of an atom's core. But for a supermassive black hole, which is much less dense, it is enough to fill an orbit such as Jupiter's with water in a liquid state. This sounds very simple, but this engineering project is impossible, as it would require an amount of water with the same mass as 100 million suns. Where could I get that much water? And the heat generated during the process of pouring water would burn all adjacent objects. The heat produced by the compression of a supermassive black hole poses a significant threat to humans who are at the center of the galaxy. Lastly, let's return to the advantages. One of the most valuable abilities is the theoretical use of the attraction of pairs of black holes as a kind of gravitational mirror which will help accelerate a spacecraft to about the speed of light and then move forward to conquer distant galaxies. The possibilities of humanity for exploring and studying the distant cosmos are currently limited by a simple formula derived by Konstantin Tsiolkovsky. Over a century ago to calculate how much fuel a rocket needs to put payloads of a certain mass into Earth's orbit or for flights to other worlds. To develop the high speeds necessary for interstellar travel, we need immensely large reserves of fuel are necessary which Earth simply cannot obtain now or in the future. A planetologist named Keeping proposes a solution to this problem only one object is needed, a black hole. The thing is, 25 years ago, theoretical physicists calculated the shape and properties of space around black holes and noticed that under certain circumstances, they will not absorb matter but instead repel it. For example, a photon moving along a precisely measured trajectory and approaching the event horizon at a certain angle will not cross it, but instead will reflect off it and return to the same point it came from, bypassing the object from the other side. Moreover, such a light boomerang will not only return, but also steal some of the black hole's energy, from which it will reflect. According to the scientists' calculations, this is enough to accelerate a Jupiter-sized spaceship to a speed exceeding the rate of a single black hole's movement around the center of the galaxy by approximately 1.4 times. Around the center of the galaxy, the respective ratios are approximately 1 and 4 tenths for binary systems in which black holes can revolve around each other at only 3 to 5 times slower than the speed of light. 
this maneuver would allow for truly fantastic speeds. Of course, for humanity today, this idea remains science fiction, but who knows what the future holds. As John Connor said, the future depends on ourselves. To venture so far into space to experience all the joys of life near a black hole and to try oneself in one of the aforementioned types of activities is currently beyond our capability. But on the other hand, who is stopping us from contemplating and dreaming about it? Someday, such a breakthrough in science will inevitably occur, but everyone believes in what they want to believe. Who knows, when we reach the black hole, we may encounter tourists from other civilizations with whom we can exchange remarks about quantum gravity and share other secrets and mysteries. We are sharing this information with you and trying to make it as simple and fun as possible. We hope it turned out well, so please like and subscribe. There are still many interesting space adventures ahead of us.